setting up the event with workshops. The first step is to create an event. The second step is to set up your workshop sessions and your time slots. The third step is to import your attendees and schedule the communication so they will join the workshops. So we'll go to the first step, creating an event. It's super easy. Just fill in the event information, uh, workshop event. It's going to be in Amsterdam. Starts 20th, 10 a.m. It ends at 6. Our program only includes workshops and I create the event. That's easy, right? The next step is to set up your sessions. So I finish the setup, I skip the onboarding part and directly go to the overview of sessions. As you can see, here's all the icons, sessions, attendees, and email communication. The only thing I need to do here is make sure that I delete the groups displayed here. So I delete one-on-one -on -one meetings. I delete tables. And I keep the tab workshops. And I can name it however I, I want. The next step is to create groups that are belong under the workshops. So in my case, because I have three time slots, I create time slots as subgroups. So I click on add new group. I fill in the first time slot, let's say 10 to 11. And I say it's workshop sessions, uh, belongs to the group workshops. It's visible for everybody, so I don't need to limit it here. And here it says, how can I attend these requests? Uh, join these workshops, can be first come, first serve, or can be accept decline. My case is going to be first come, first serve. And every round, of course, they can only choose one workshop. Motivation message is not needed. Show them as user pictures. The display settings are also not needed. Maybe you can hide sessions in the past, but it's fine. And I save this subgroup. So now as you see, this is just a subgroup created under a group. And it's the way of displaying your sessions. If you click on preview here, you can see the result. So this is how attendees see your platform that you've just set up. And here you can see there's workshops with a subgroup. And there's no sessions. Well, the next thing to do would be to add sessions in the group in the web manager mode. Before I do that, I quickly create the other time slots from 12 to 1. So I have my time slots ready. And the only thing I need to do is create sessions in those time slots. Three to four. As you can see here, there's three time slots. There's one main group. And as you can understand, you can set it up all the way you like. So I can change the name of the workshops. I can create another main group and add other groups. I can combine everything. So the only thing I need to do now is add sessions. So I go to the event manager mode and add the sessions. Click here. Here I am. Um, what I will do is instead of importing all of the sessions or gathering the sessions from the speaker has a bit of form. I just for now quickly add a new session. I fill in the title, it could be innovation. I choose a speaker. This is me, I'm the only user in the system. I choose the date, the 20th of June, the time is going to be 10. So because it's 10, it also needs to be in the first time slot. I add the number of seats, it's going to be 30 seats. It's going to take 60 minutes. Uh, and here's the description. If I can put in a bio or something, whatever I like. I don't have it for now. Choose the location, it's in the right. Um, and here I choose the time slots 10 to 11. So you can imagine, you do workshops, you want to have different locations. So I change the location. I put in room A, F. Now I have everything to create the first workshop. And click on save. Workshop is created. It's going to be in the first time slot, as you see here. And I can easily create another workshop. For example, a workshop called um, Event Solutions. 
went in the same time slot with the same host. Safe. So what I can do is I can easily fill up the whole event program this way. And when I have a look on what I created, I see that in the first time slot, there's two sessions, event solutions and innovation. On the attendees can easily join them by clicking on session and clicking on an empty seat. Oh, the next step is going to be importing the attendees. Because now you've set up your full program, the only thing you need to do is Make sure your attendees are in the system and schedule the right communication to them so you, they fill up their program with workshop sessions. So in the tool, I go to attendees and what I would normally do is import my Excel list of attendees. So I download the template, fill the template in, put it in the system, one second, here we go, and I click on import. I match all the columns, and I click on complete import. Now my attendees have been imported into the system, and this is where I can see them. As you see, there's different filters, which are automatically created already, not seeded, the people that didn't have a workshop, and seeded, it's me, I'm hosting a workshop. We also use these segments to schedule the right communication to these attendees to make sure they take certain actions. But the last step to take is to schedule an email to all the attendees uh, that I've imported to take a seat at the workshop that I've created. So I go to emails, I say it's in English, and I choose the right attendee filter. So I choose, I want to send an email to all the people that need a welcome email. I click on the welcome email, which is a template created for inviting the people to choose their sessions. I can easily adjust it, filling in, for example, a deadline, saying, take your seat before 20th of June. And when I think it's ready, I preview the email, And I click on set. So now all of the attendees that needed a welcome email received the welcome email and they can easily choose their sessions. As you can understand, there are some other emails that you would like to send besides this welcome email, but your event is now live. So you've took all of the steps, you send out your first um, welcome email, now I'm going to show you what an email schedule for workshops look like to make sure you finish up the, all of your tasks for setting up the workshops for this event. The attendees to choose sessions, that email we just sent out it was the email um, welcome to the segment need invitation. But after that, when they did, they did choose their sessions, you would like them to receive them a schedule. And after that, after the event, you would like to let the attendees connect with each other. So you want them to receive an email with a list of the people that met. So for the attendees to choose sessions, we have sent out an email to the people that needed an invitation and was the template welcome. For the attendees and speakers to receive their time schedule, uh, we need to have the filter seated, but only the people that have chosen workshops and we send out the email final schedule. Uh, after the event, of course, we're only emailing again the seated participants and we send out to them the email template after connect. So in this way, you can easily make sure your full event is set up and schedule messages at any time. So now only schedule this final schedule to the seated final schedule. Here I go, I preview email and send and I schedule it for one day before the event. So let's say it's going to be in the 20th of June, schedule. All set. The only thing I need to do is just go to the dashboard, see what's happening, and make sure whenever I think it's, it's the right moment to send out a reminder to the attendees to choose their sessions. If they didn't do it, that's it. 